Well, hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to the cabin. Uh, Got to get some road work done today. Try to straighten this road up a little bit. That was a hard winter on the road. There's a lot of <laughs> ruts and and stuff in it, so I'm going to try to try to smooth that out a little bit. Uh, one of the great things uh, about having your own uh, gravel resource is that when it comes to fixing roads, man, it's uh, it's it uh, makes it a lot easier. And I also got something else new today that I'm going to try. Now, a box blade. This is not my box blade. I borrowed this. Um, a buddy of mine bought this and he hasn't, it hasn't even been used yet. I think he bought it last year and never, never got around to trying it out. So I said, I can put that to work. I want to try that on the road. I've heard nothing but good things about box blades. Uh, this one is a Woods. It's uh, an 84P, which means it's 84 inches or seven feet across. Um, and obviously, a well made in the USA, so well made. It looks very, very solid. And uh, yeah, I can't wait to try it out. Got some nice teeth. And hopefully that'll help rip up the old gravel and then the blade will fill in all the holes. Yeah, I just love this thing. Got blades on both sides. I've never used one before. First time. So I'm not an expert at it. I'm sure it'll take uh, a few times to get used to it. But uh, my plan of attack is to uh, go down the road and rip up all the old material and once I get all of the, maybe even haul a few bucket loads of gravel from the pit, and then once I got all of the ruts filled in, I think, um, and I probably could use the blade, or the uh, box blade, but what I think I'll do is probably put my rear blade on and angle that, try to angle that a little bit with the three-point hitch, and then try to put a bit of a crown in the road so that the water tries to run off towards the ditch. Anyway, let's see how this thing works. I'm excited to try this thing out. I literally have no idea. Well, here's the only bad part about it. Uh, it digs up some big rocks. And these rocks were kind of laying close to the surface, so it just, uh, it just grabbed onto them and dragged them right up out of, the, out of the road. Well, that's all right. I'll move those, fill those big holes in with some gravel. Jeez.
I don't know, maybe I can't move this one. These are heavy. Just like it never happened. All right, so uh, what do I think of a box blade so far? Amazing a piece of equipment, amazing. Um, I've done several runs on the road and it didn't take very long. It just ripped up the road real easy, filled in a lot of ruts. Uh, so now what I'm gonna do, I just stopped and I turn the teeth upside down so that they're not going to rip up the road anymore. I don't need to. It's, it's ripped up enough. And now I'm just going to use the box blade to try to fill in a few more of the ruts. So I'll do a couple more runs on the road. And uh, then we'll see how, see how it looks. Well, all right, guys, that's that's about it for the road. I did six passes on the road. So I did uh, two passes with the uh, teeth down and ripped it up. And then I did four passes with the teeth up and it's kind of smoothed everything out. So let's, uh, let's turn the camera around and have a look. So that's the after shot. I'm happy with that. I think that looks great. Not bad at all for a, not, <laughs> not bad at all for an amateur. Uh, anyways, as you can see, and maybe you can't see, uh, but the state bird is out, the black fly. They got uh, real thick this afternoon. Uh, when it's real breezy, though, it kind of blows them away. But as soon as the wind stops, man, they come out. They're in your eyes and in your nose and in your ears. So uh, I'm going to end the video right here, guys. And I'm going to get back up to the cabin and get away from these black flies. Um, that is just a great piece of equipment, though. The good news is I can borrow it. I can borrow it any time that I want it. So uh, I'm going to definitely be borrowing it a lot more often. Um, you know, I do the road a couple times, a few times a year. And uh, I'll rate my... <laughs> Right in my eye. <laughs> I do the road a few times a year, so I'll definitely be using this again. I'll probably watch some videos on YouTube, see how the experts do it. Anyways, uh, leave me some comments below. Let me know what you think about the road. Uh, let me know uh, if you have a tractor, what you use to uh, keep your road in good shape. And uh, yeah, that's it, guys. So if you don't mind, if you're new, subscribe. Uh, give me a thumbs up. I do appreciate the support. 
uh, hit the little bell icon beside the subscribe button if you want to be notified of new videos. And uh, we'll see you next time real soon back here at the cabin. <laughs> You know the concept of these uh, these blocks blades is amazing. So you have your you have your ripper teeth, which uh, you know when you point them down can tear up any hardened gravel surface, and then you have your blade inside, which then cuts off any high areas and fills in all the low areas because all the gravel stays in the box. You know it's it's just a a great idea, an amazing tool, and then to make it even better. You know on the back of it you have another blade here and That blade turns into a bulldozer going backwards and it worked really well the more I used it the more I, I really like it and uh, Yeah, oh, it's 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 amazing And if you're wondering how it performed because that is a, a seven foot blade and it did have a lot of gravel in it uh, my tractor is a 45 horsepower and it had no problem pulling that along, uh, even with the, the box full of gravel and it was semi-wet gravel. So, yeah, it had no trouble. That tractor's all kinds of power. Uh, there were a couple of uh, areas going uphill where it really was kind of struggling a bit. But, uh, so I think I, for the first time, I've, I've actually used low range in the tractor. But, uh, like I said, that was coming uphill and... I had a full box of, uh, of uh, semi-wet gravel, so. But yeah, no problems for a 45 horsepower tractor.